to hear from CLG, SFAT, and PPU. Right. And I mean, even if Acebox was here, that's not to say that PPU, SFAT would or wouldn't right. be the favorite against uh, Mewtwo and Acebox. But uh, here we go right now. Right off the bat, Maxi does a good bit of damage on uh, SFAT. SFAT makes it out of the corner. Now uh, Pew Pew's the one in trouble. And already looking like Pew Pew, excuse me, Pew Fat trying to get isolated. Looks like uh, he was trying to get a nice combo on Drug Fox here. Okay, now uh, we see the, a little bit of zoning from SFAT. He actually ends up going all the way in on MACD. Tries to switch targets, but Drug Fox sifts it out. Actually, Drug Fox is doing an excellent job of space control. Yeah, he's doing a great job keeping Pew Pew Yu away from saving SFAT. And right now, MACD's just having a grand old time edge guarding him all alone. And both edge guards looking like a, a strong situation, but a drop from Drug Fox. Drug Fox ends up living that down air, though. Gets out of the corner after waiting very patiently for SFAT to commit with the back air. SFAT gets a KO on MACD at a very good percentage. Mm -hmm. Matt's pretty even now. I love that Drug Fox just like, yeah, I know I could do this Invincible forever, so I'm going to let my partner come down, get some Invincibility. A smart decision to wait, and he gets the kill on Pew Pew. Max can continues the conversion from good percentage on SFAT. Ah, oh, and that combo ends up working out. Back air into, uh, march forward air into Fox's back air. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the what we know Pew Fat for, the in innovative, inventive team combos, interesting ways to finish off stocks. Did you uh, notice how the Drug Fox uh, neutral air ended up actually knocking the Fox back into the Peach Down Smash? Yeah. Ended up racking up a lot of damage and ended up securing the KO. Good stuff here. Yeah. Oh, Down Smash, interesting option. I like the decision for PPU to abandon the McCain recovery, the MACD recovery, and help out his teammate try and go for a, a 2v1 situation here. And it worked out nicely because they got the kill anyways. Yeah. Red Fox gets the back air. Oh, oh, what? So I love what? that by, uh, by S5. I think that that is the, the new tech. We've been seeing more and more people do it. And that's basically fall down by the edge and initialize your uh, up B. It puts a hitbox out, so if they ever let go of the edge, you just grab the ledge, and if they lose their invincibility, the, the, the Firefox ends up hitting them. So it's a really good recovery strategy that's, uh, that's become more and more common. All right. So I like that decision. Drug Fox just backing away. Notice he was sandwiched between both members of PewFat. Right. Oof. Fourth throw, really good option to push both of them off. Yep, using his teammate, or uh, excuse me, his opponent as a projectile to throw into the other opponent. It's really even game so far. MACD and uh, Drug Fox doing very, very well against the prohibitive favorites. Try to okay, Ooh. turn around Shield Breaker. Bad spot for Drug Fox, okay. Yep. Well, that was such a smart air dodge by McCain. Excuse me again, MACD to get around that backer by SFAB, but what? Fortunate dot face, wow. ended up sending him very far away, un unable to, you know, at distance where SFAT could not save. Now they're in the corner. Wow, blue team really struggling. Oh, big edge right opportunity here. Great turn up throw. Oh, oh, and he drops it and gets that was, hit spike. I, I like the idea. Going for that, uh, uh, that, that KO. Even if it meant an SD, it would have been well worth it for uh, red team. Absolutely, because you, you have a stock advantage. Exactly. And then right. you get a 2v1 as well. But that was a huge turnaround right there, and see if Pew Fat can make is, a big is difference. Is Pew Pew going to go for a save? Ooh! Okay, couldn't quite get it. Now it's just Pew Pew with 2v1. Grabs the ledge, goes, tries to go through. Marsh Dash is really good in this situation. But overall, he needs to take out the Fox, and Drug Fox knows it. Oh, and not the greatest at DI, and that should do it. Yeah. All right, MACD and Drug Fox taking game one. That was close, though. So it was back and forth. Yeah, I mean. MACD, of course, known for his team's play. Drug Fox hasn't accomplished much in team strength for his skill level. Mm. So for them to take a game even off PewFat is extraordinarily impressive. If they go on to take the set, I'll be even more impressed. I'll yeah. be baffled. And then thankfully here in top eight, we do have best of five. So we're going to get at least three delicious games exactly. of Melee Doubles. So well, we'll see now we're going to see at least... Well, yeah, I guess at least... Yeah. Three. <laughs> Are you good there, home? They could. They could. They could, they could, could do could. it. <laughs> we're likely going to see... I would, uh, I'd expect probably a Pokemon Stadium counterpick. That's what PFA generally go for. It's good against Peach. Uh, sure, there is a Fox on the opposing team, but, I mean, they got a Fox of their own, so yep. it's not so bad. Um, and PPU is one of the Marths that sort of is pushing the idea that Pokemon Stadium isn't necessarily bad for Marth against space animals. So I like this decision a lot from PewFat. We'll see if it uh, translates, you know, on paper and in the actual person. Two completely different stories. Right, right, right. Now they got him in a good spot. Macti ends up nearing his own partner. Yeah, that was a huge combo on, uh, on Drug Fox. And that is going to do it for Drug Fox. Yeah, wow. That was quick. It looks like all of a Ooh. sudden Blue Team woke up. 
I love Pretty that dope. decision by s to push MACD off stage after getting down aired by PewPew. -Pew. Just these little things that they do are so smart. Yeah, you'll notice that uh, Pew Pew's playing the game a lot slower now, controlling his space. Yeah. That uh, center control that he had for 10, 15 seconds there built up a lot of damage for his team. There you go. Great conversion by s -Fat. off of the back throw. Yeah, they woke up. <laughs> they were like, oh, we're not playing anymore. We're, we're trying to win. Okay. Maxi ends up getting the down smash. Not altogether so bad for the blue team. They do make it back. Tries to go for the down, the, the forward smash off the down throw. Max gets a neutral air him off. Wow, great recovery Ooh. by uh, Pew Pew, knowing that Max would go for that neutral air. And then picking up another couple hits off that, too. So he turned a recovery option into a combo, and things are getting a little bit out of hand. Great immediate snap to ledge by Pew Pew to avoid the getting shine off stage. Yeah, and I even like the, the up air that actually uh, saved uh, s -Fat for for a moment there that Pew Pew did. Ooh. And the great decision by Red Team to just go in while Pew Pew was sitting on the other side of the stage. Oh, that forward ends up beating out Fox there. So smart to just go intercept. He's got taking some damage now, but he used the tree. Very wise. Oh, all these players just bounce around like pinballs, man. Over 100. Lots of hits done. All right. There's two kills. That's a good trade for MACD. He really needed to take out uh, Pew Pew Saku. He was living forever. Oh, the quick ramen noodles snatching the ledge. You know, Drug Fox decided to stay a little bit behind at 112%. Didn't want to get killed by PPU. Finally, that ends up working out for Red Team. They built yeah, a lot wow. of damage on SFAT. Still, Pew Pew's the big problem. They haven't hit him much for most of the match. And he's still sitting on a second stock. Oh, very good space by MACD to space around that floor there. Really tough for Peach to do. Oh, the stitch face. Oh, oh no, no, that's not a stitch face. Excuse me. That was just the sound of Fox. <laughs> Great okay, defensive play there. by S-Fat to push McCain away from GPU. Oh, Back here out of shield. Wow. I, you know, many marks in that same situation PP was at, uh, with right next to the Peach, would have forward air. But he instead waited for his Fox to get what's better, a back air. Mm -hmm. um, that, that was super sick, just knowing not to forward air. Up to, Tell oh, that is going to do it at 134. That's another reason why uh, Stadium's so good. The vertical KOs for the Fox will uh, take Peach off the top. Oh, nice turn up snipe by MACD. They're still in the game. Only only one stock down. Definitely a doable deficit, especially with Fox's uh, shine around. And they've got them in a bad spot here. Some good damage built up on s Oh, Monster tipper on Drug Fox. Can he make it back? Ooh, not. Ooh. Tries to use that uh, side platform. Down there? Oh, just oh, missing. Nice. Misses. Oh, all right. So, going on the last stock each. Still a big struggle. PP is not going to let himself get hit. Up tilt. Wow, it's a conversion, too. Off an aerial shine. Oh, when he jabbed away the fair. Uh oh. He's going to go for it? I, I thought he was oh. just going to go back air trade with a B. And the Zlatan bicycle kick. Closing out the stock, just got him with the what's, reverse what's hit what's of up smash. Him? The Zlatan. You never seen that beautiful soccer goal where he's like halfway in the middle of the soccer field and he just bicycle kicks it? It's beautiful. Check it out. That's what you do, you know? You get the up smash and you get him with the reverse hitbox. It's like a bicycle kick. Right? It is. <laughs> it is, dude. Fox would be a pretty good soccer player. He would be amazing. Control the feed. Hey, man, Falco, both. That'd be really good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah they got back hairs. Back air would be good. Yeah. You could just do that. Falco would just laser the ball. <laughs> just keep perpetually he's not using just got his hand, over right? and over. Yeah. He's not using his hands. It's cool. <laughs> All right. So the immediate dream land pick. I think that works out nicely anytime you got a peach on your squad. Right. And you're against smart. Marth, right? Good damage on uh, s -Fat. That down smash built up a lot. But oh. I mean, Drug Fox is the one who's a danger. Matthew tried to down air on the way down to save Drug Fox. But it wasn't quite enough. Yeah, and then on a recovery too by PPU where he did the side B on an approaching Mac D to give himself some space and immediate up B. That was brilliant stock take and defend by PPU. Right. Oh, the cross over the down, the down air. Uh, s fed crossed up Mac D shield and uh, ends up cricket up. I love the target switch by uh, s fat Yeah. Oh, and the quick fair by Mac D to avoid a guaranteed up tilt forward smash that PPU had on Drug Fox. Great team's play. PPU holding the corner. Make them respect the space. 
hasn't really been able to get those uh, big uh, stage positioning zoning situations that we were used to seeing. Maybe it'll set up shop here. Okay, that, that forward smash is really good to just knock them both to the corner and earn their stage positioning. Yeah, oh, grabbing. Smash, beautiful. As a Marth, you have to be thinking about grab first and foremost when one of the opposing t uh, opposing team is uh, KO'd off the, off the top. Yeah. You have so much time between those socks that if you get the grab, the Fox can up smash and that's a really, really uh, good way to clean up socks yeah. as, as a Martha. Whoa, that drill reset by SFAT that led to a pew pew grab was <laughs> insane it's and a, a quick kill. Too. Yeah. Wow, this is, uh, it looked like it might be getting out of hand here for, for Red Team and SFAT. Good decision to just not elect to go for a, a risky edge guard, knowing that MACD was in the building. Dreamland is one of those stages where the stock tank often dominates because they li they can live so long that whether you take out the opposing stock tank is often the difference uh, yeah. of whether you win or lose. And so Ooh. far, MACD has been getting shot, and PewPew Pew has been not been getting hit. Yeah, it's still on his last oh, shot. Goodness, and he goes deep out there, getting for the down air and. This is uh, a whitewashing. Well, I mean, Drug Fox has been going with a high recovery up B so often. It's a very good option in teams, but I mean, some things are only so good, right? Yeah. If they hard read it, they hard read it. All right. The PPU is still sitting on that first stock. That's finally going to do it off uh, a pretty important grab by MACD. And, and even even when he died, his uh, teammate got some damage for it, right? Because right. uh, SFAT ended up going in uh, with his ability. Oh. Great space by Drug Fox to get around the aerials coming from PPU from Ledge. Yeah, yeah. Just stuffing him. Wow, using his shield. Is that knocked away? But that was even smart. He went in there and forced Drug Fox to knock him away instead of finishing the edge guard on PPU. Last uh, 30 seconds or so, but a lot of traded hits. Not really good for uh, Red Team. He snuck in there as MACD was punishing Pew Pew and Yeah, this is looking this is looking grim for your boy Drug Fox. This is more of what we expected when we walked into this. Yeah. You know, that's that Pew Pew just so dominant typically. The five uh, stock. Yeah, they, they clean it up that time. Yeah. Yeah. That's convincing. There's no way you can't you can't cheese yourself into a five stock. No, no, you can't. I mean they All did right. get a few shines that were good. There's going oh there, yeah. He just knew he was it. gonna go high, right? Like yeah. Drug Fox is going high so often that uh, he, he just hard got it. Yeah, that was beautiful stuff by PPU. It's good stuff. <laughs> the replay of him hitting his teammate off stage. Yeah. So do you think they go back after the def pretty convincing defeat? I do think it's a good stage for the team composition. Uh -huh. um, though they're they're probably thinking, okay, we won on uh, FD. Why did we win on FD? What made that so good for us? Hmm. And uh, you know, they might even go stadium because that was at least closer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a long stage and you know, uh, it, it matches FD style a little bit the most. Uh, they're going to go Battlefield. Uh, they didn't like what they saw in Dreamland. They're going to pick probably their second best stage as a, as, a, as a character composition. Yeah. The hard thing about Dreamland is, again, if you don't KO PPU, you just lose. Yeah. Oh, oh down smash. Big down smash on Drug Fox. And now he's at 91. That was 14 huge. seconds into the match. Oh, what a grab off of that in tumble. Mac D, PPU picking up. Convincing. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh. I, I, man, that was such a good idea. Yeah. Oh, he gets a bomb. Double up smash. So, so the reason why the up B was a good idea is after that neutral air, which he was aiming for Mac D, very likely the fox would just grab or shine on shield or do something. Um, so, for, for whatever reason, uh, the fox stayed in shield, but that up B would very likely land in many situations. So here we have it. Mac D stuck on platforms. Oh. That's a trend we've seen on both uh, Dreamland and Battlefield. Yeah, and so Drug Fox had Pew Pew Yu in a wave shine, and then SFAT immediately down tilted him as he was trying to cover and get an up smash. That was amazing save by SFAT, and that should do it. They, they knew he was going high again, but I mean, he didn't really have much of an option oh. that time. Oh! Um, SFAT messes up his <laughs> angle. Drug Fox gets down there. He that, says, nah, get back thing, down right? there. And on <laughs> Battlefield, you have to go straight up. Yeah. So that down there was uh, just uh, good stage knowledge. Oh, and that's just missing the shine. But yeah, they had everything covered. He, he had going straight up. That's why able to sit on ledge. And if he went angled in, then uh, PPU could have countered. He could have smashed. A lot of options. And once again, just getting out of hand. Three stock lead for, uh, for the boys yeah, from CLG. They're finding their form again, the CLG boys. 
Oh, he ends up getting the turn of throw despite getting down tilted. Oh! It'll cost him his stock at 31! Oh! Take the trade. That's a game winning trade! Yeah, that was a huge play by PPU. So smart. And now, MACD alone. Four stocks of CLG. It's looking grim. Now it's, it's like the combo contest, yeah, I mean, right? They, they, took, they took game one, but ever since then it was a rout. Yeah. Uh, the CLG boys tours just found their form and proved why they're the, the team we know them to be. Yep. Oh. <laughs> there you go. They're just kind of toying with them. Great stuff to Pew Pew and SVAT moving into winner's finals. But uh, a pretty strong showing too from, at least like we said, in games one and two. And then it just kind of got out of hand in, uh, in games three and four. Yeah. But, yeah. but good stuff to them. They're still alive. They're going to drop down to loser's quarters where they will be waiting for the winner of DJ Nintendo in the Moon and Milkman.